Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking, coming at you this afternoon. I know it's been a while, but I got a good video for y'all today. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a couple marinades today. We're gonna use this Allegro Tennessee whiskey on some pork. Now I gotta be real good. And then we're gonna use some of this Allegro hot and spicy. What I've got going with that is I've got some London Brawl steaks or top loin steaks whatever you call them marinating they've been marinating that for a couple of days so we're gonna cook that on the grill we got some other stuff too let me show you so i've got some pork belly now it is very hard to find in my area pork belly like this with the skin on but my local grocer at Sullivan, uh, sullivan's today i actually found it and so i was super stoked so got the pork belly with the skin on and got some pork tenderloin. Now that pork tenderloin, we're gonna uh, marinate in this uh, Tennessee whiskey right here. But let me show you what we're gonna do with this uh, belly first. Now, I poured a little bit of uh, vinegar on that belly and let it sit for about you know 10 minutes or so, and that's just a good idea. But you want to dry it off now. All right, get it real dry. And man, we're gonna make some great tacos with these later. All this stuff. I'm gonna tell y'all, this gonna be divine, okay? So we got that pretty dry there. And then I'm gonna come in with a sharp knife. You just wanna kind of score it. Something like that. And just not cut really all the way through it, but just kind of score it. And that way, it'll chunk up, crisp up real nice. So we're gonna go this way with it. Kinda of hard to cut down here in this pan, but it's just how I had it sitting here. We're about to go this one here. And you can use a razor blade for this, that'd be nice. That'd be really good actually. But you know, you gotta use what you got at hand. Be careful and cut yourself. Okay, so got that done. Now Let's move that right over here for a second. I want to dry up any of that residual vinegar and stuff in there because I want a dry space in here now, y'all. Okay. So, we got that. And let me get another paper towel to make sure extra dry here on the skin. Okay. That's important. All right. Put skin side down for now. Now, we'll get to season. I got this Myra mixing. This is his rib rub. With some good stuff, use what you want. And first I'm gonna season these uh, tenderloins over here. And we'll get back to the to the uh, pork belly here in a second. Put some seasoning on these. I'm gonna season these again after they marinate, but I like to go ahead and get them started out. All right. Get that seasoning just kind of working in there. There we go. Now, I'll get those in a bag in a minute, and we're going to add that uh, Tennessee whiskey Allegro there. Now, for these, we're going to dip on top of them. We're going to season that right there on this side. Get a good coat. But just be careful. I don't want to get that seasoned on the skin, y'all. Sides, so that's why I'm doing this like this. This seasoning here is for the bottom side, okay? So, got that, kind of pat that in, pat that in. What I may actually do is um, take these up for a second and set them to the side and go ahead and just kind of clean underneath. I, I'll tell you what, no. It'll be fine. I'm going to flip them over real quick. Just kind of wipe some of this rub off my hand. Because like I said, I don't want to get that rub on the skin side. I don't want it to burn because we're going to do some high heat on that skin side later. Okay. Let's go ahead and just pat that in though. Make sure everything's good. All right. There we go. Flip that like that. Flip that like that. Now we did get a little bit of a rub on the skin side, but that's okay. What we'll do is just take a towel and just uh, dry that off. 
Okay. Just like that. Now what we are gonna put on this skin side is some kosher salt. And we ain't gonna skim. But a lot of it, don't worry, we'll get most of it off later. But this is gonna help draw the moisture out of that skin and make that skin crisp up later. So we just gonna put down this kosher salt all on top of the skin. Let that sit for a little bit. Okay? That's what you got right there. Kosher salt on that pork skin. All right? Now we're gonna get these pork tenderloins in this bag here. And get them to marinating. All right? And I'll get some of that good old Tennessee whiskey marinade in there with them. Here in just a minute. Yeah, I just don't have enough space here today. Crazy, all right? The whole table, not enough space. Okay, let's get that in there, like that. Okay, let's get this over so y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right, going down. Now we get this Tennessee whiskey. We'll take this glove off, I don't need it right now. Shake it up. Pour it in here. You don't take the whole bottle, it take maybe half. That's about right. Now I'm gonna vacuum seal this, let these marinate for a little bit while that skin sits there, or that pork belly, and lets that moisture wick out of the skin. Well, I'm out here at my Lone Star Grills pellet smoker, running lumberjack pellets, fruit wood blend, shooting for about 225 here. And we'll go ahead and get these pork belly pieces on, because they're gonna take a while. Let's get them down here. We'll leave that salt on top. Okay. Be careful. I got them on a mesh rack there. Okay. Just like that. All right. We'll just let them start going. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Let them keep rolling. So we've been smoking this for about an hour here at 225. See how the salt's kind of caked up and everything? At this point, it's safe to go ahead and remove that salt. So I'm just going to push the salt out there, push the salt off the top, and let it just kind of breathe a little bit. So at this point, you can see I pushed the salt off to the side, uh, blot them off with the towel, and let them go another about an hour, just like this. So at this point, we've been on for about two hours, and of course we took the salt off after hour one. I dumped the salt off that little mesh thing there, and at this point, I've got some way good beef tallow. You can use whatever kind of uh, oil you have, but I figured this wine has wonderful flavor to it. This is the fat work stuff. And basically at this point, we'll just add some oil to the surface, okay? Because we've taken, taken the salt away, we dried everything out, and at this point, we wanna add that oil. And this oil, will stay on there and it'll help it to crisp and everything else. So just gonna leave that going. Charles, we wait on the pork belly to finish cooking. I took the, uh, the pork loins out of that marinade, the, the Tennessee whiskey, Allegro. Put some more up my iron mix, mixing rub on them. And I also took the London broils out. Uh, put a little bit of uh, some hotty toddies. Ooh, this is my steak rub I like on them. I'm gonna put those back in the refrigerator, let them hang out for about an hour, just kind of dry out before, or dry out on the outside before we get them on the cooker, okay? Trying to get everything to finish around the same time. So at this point, the pork belly's been on there about four hours. I got more food to cook. So I'm actually gonna put the uh, pork loins on there now, okay? Let them start cooking. Get the pork loins. I'm not going to put the, my London broil on there yet because that will take at least the time. Also, just put everything on. we got the pork belly still. Pork loin just hit about 100 degrees. So now I'm through the London broil on. So we're just rolling with everything. So good. Right, y'all, it's about time to crisp up the skin with our uh, sous vide gun on that pork belly. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get this done. So let me show you what we got going. The CV gun here, we'll turn it on.
looks like some of the chalk. Oh yeah. That's beautiful right there. Look at that. There we go. We're puffing up right there. That's what we're looking for. We're smoking this all this time. It's just right here. It's just 30 seconds. Just bust out that beautiful crackling skin. So I'm about to pull these little roll steaks off right now. That's uh, you know, that's something that needs to come off because I think they are done. And then we'll get the uh, pork loin off. So we're gonna sauce it here in just a second. And then last but not least, pork belly. So we got our uh, barbecue board right here. We're gonna put these beautiful London broils on down here. Hope you all can see that. Look at that. And then we'll let those rest for a minute and come back with the rest. So I think we're ready to unload the grill here. We can get the pork loins off. Oh my goodness, those are beautiful. Look at that. Let's get the pork belly. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is something else. Mm. Hey. All right, we're going to take everything inside right here on this barbecue board. That's beautiful. All right, y'all, we have had an exceptional cook today. Cooked all sorts of stuff here. And y'all, come on here with me. Look at this. We got uh, London broil. We got pork loin. We got beautiful pork belly crackling. Just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna just go ahead and let's start just cutting into things, y'all, I'll be honest with you. Let's cut into this pork belly here. Hopefully y'all can see that well. Let's do this right here. Just want to kind of get some slices right here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, y'all. That crispy skin, you get that pork belly just like that. Let's, well, let's set this slice, let it cool just for a second. Now let's try with some of this pork loin over here. The sauce just glistening off of there. That beautiful pork, look at that, right there. Is that not gorgeous? Look at the juice dripping. Now let's try one of these London broils. If y'all can see that there. Get the perfect thickness. Oh, look at that, y'all. Is that not gorgeous? Everything right here, just nice and marinated. Beautiful. Oh man, yeah. What you think, Kathy Faye? Is it good? Yep. Yep, look at that steak right yep. there. Yep, you better like it yeah. because it's good. It is. So we're gonna try that real quick, y'all. It's the London broil right there. It's marinated in that the, the spicy Allegro. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> man. Now, look at that beautiful piece of pork right there. That was that pork tenderloin day. Got that marinated in the leg road with the uh, Tennessee whiskey. Mmm. Super nice. Yep. And pork belly. Oh man, y'all. Flavor just trifecta here. I'm gonna try this pork belly. Mmm. That skin so good. Yep. It looks like steak. Mm-hmm. It is fabulous. And awesome. Awesome stuff, y'all. All right, give this a try, seriously. And give us mm -hmm. a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe like our channel. And subscribe. Thank y'all so much. Here at Southern Coastal Cooking. Southern Coastal Cooking.